The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. A Perfect Atonement And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Romans 5 verse 11 The infinite sufficiency of Christ is demonstrated by His bearing the sins of the whole world. He occupies the double position of offer and of offering, of priest and of victim. In the atonement made for him, the believer sees such breadth and length and height and depth of efficiency. He sees such completeness of salvation, purchased at such infinite cost, that his soul is filled with praise and thanksgiving. He sees as in a glass the glory of the Lord, and is changed into the same image as by the Spirit of the Lord. The great high priest has made the only sacrifice that will be of any value. The incense that is offered now by men, the masses that are said for the deliverance of souls from purgatory, are not of the least avail with God. All the altars and sacrifices, the traditions and inventions whereby men hope to earn salvation, are fallacies. Christ is the only sin barrier, the only sin offering. Priests and rulers have no right to interpose between Christ and the souls from whom he has died, as though invested with the Savior's attributes and able to pardon transgression and sin. They themselves are sinners. They are only human. Prayer and confession are to be offered only to him who has entered once for all into the holy place. Christ has declared, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He will save to the uttermost all who come to him in faith. The elder brother of our race is by the eternal throne. He looks upon every soul who is turning his face towards him as the Savior. The heaviest burden that we bear is the burden of sin. He will take the load from our weary shoulders. He will give us rest. The burden of care and sorrow also will he bear. He invites us to cast all our care upon him, for he carries us upon his heart.